Hey, what's up, Sheila? How you doing? Hey, wait, we're doing the training class in here, right? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Just running in last minute, that's all. Trying to get these guys. Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Hey, how's it going? Good. Just waiting for everyone to join. Give everyone a few minutes here. She got some nuts, Shayla, some water. Mm -hmm. Hi. <laughs> Excuse my, my goofy shoes. <laughs> I got the real ones in there, but aren't trying to. Yeah, no, not, not anymore. I used to think it was okay. I used to think it was no problem, but it's definitely rough. It's definitely. <laughs> show guys are we uh missing anybody that was in here from yesterday yeah who um jeremy 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 yeah there's someone named jeremy and then uh demetrius i think unless he's in the room there and they're on uh casey's team right i'm not sure Um, I think Alex is going to come in here, but he's going to come in. Alex is good. He's out. I try, but it's too much. I know, I was like, so I stopped to eat. I was like, 75% of my family. I was like, 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 I
like a repeat script in order to learn more. Maybe I missed something, you know. I thought it was good to learn a little more. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hello. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, All right. All right. With the, the, the Okay, cool. I'm not going to do this. So, is this everybody now? Or Jeremy. Jeremy. Yeah. Who's Jeremy? Can't think. Um, maybe he's like Hispanic. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Big guy. Big guy? Short hair. Beard. He's in the house? Yeah. Very friendly, very nice. Well, thanks, yeah. You guys see him? Demetrius, you see him at all? No, I don't think he's been in the office. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, guys. So today we're going to talk about rapport and how important rapport is. And we're going to talk about the introductions to the presentation. Make sure you guys have some notes, water. I got a jewel and coffee. I got my gum, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Shadow's got our toothpicks. <laughs> We're good to go. We're ready up in here. Um, I got one. That's so there you go. Back to school. Yeah, I know. And you gotta inch it all the way down the thing like we're in school. <laughs> so uh How's everything been going so far, guys? First week, third day in. Any of us in here see some see some action yet? Any of us in here see some presentations? Uh, yeah, I saw. Um, I went to in house. Well, I went to a um in home presentation last night. Yeah, there we go. How was that? It was good. I went with um Thomas. Thomas Whalen. Yeah. Oh yeah, he closed down a big one. Yeah, that it was a crazy family. Well, the parents were looked crazy. like a crazy family. Yeah. <laughs> But it was good. I learned a lot. Just um, took a couple notes and just you know picked up on what he did. Nice, nice, good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, he just made what like that was two thousand AOP. Yeah. Or twenty one, twenty three. Like twenty one, twenty something. But it was like, yeah, it's pretty decent. <laughs> Stacking an hour. Let's go. Protecting a nice family. I'm sure they needed it. What was the story behind that? They haven't been seen. They were union, non-union. They were union. They were union? Mm -hmm. What did you think of them? Like, personally, what I think of them? Yeah. I mean, they were very different. Very different? Uh -huh, to say the least. But they overall saw the value and everything. Like, once, because, like, the husband, he was a very he was sarcastic, but, like, funny sarcastic. Yeah. You know, the whole time. So, it kind of slowed at everything. But he Good. saw the value and everything uh, in general. So, he, 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 he they, they knew what they wanted. They knew they needed it. Nice. Um, so it just made it made things a lot easier. Nice. Yeah. Good. That's good. Uh, I heard uh, you and Ray kind of interesting sit. Yeah, very interesting. This weed legal state of Illinois is going to bring so. that sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes you might walk into the house and someone might be abiding the law, per se. Uh -huh. And the five kids in the room. Oh, my goodness gracious. Yeah, um, it was like on the west side, so it was kind of just like the flat, but it was, um, yeah, it was nice on the inside. They, they were, they said they wanted to work on like turning up the carpet and stuff, so I think it was like an older building, but they were working on it, so it was a nice fireplace. And Good. Let it in. All right, all right. Sorry, guys. So, um, in those sits last night, how important do you think that rapport was that Tommy built? Very important because it kind of just, you know loosened up everything and easing tensions if there were any. Loosened up everything, ease the tensions. Yeah, since he kind of put himself in control because he's kind of like offering, like, hey, like, how are you doing this and that, and all the questions. And you know, they, they were friendly, they answered back, but it, in a sense, it's, it put him in like the driver's seat for like really direct how he wants to go throughout the presentation. So. Exactly, spot on, exactly, spot on. So, guys, <clears throat> before is. I would say one of the most important parts of the presentation, second to closing. I mean, here's my purple marker. 
This this place, these marker thieves. Maybe we should turn these lights on, huh? I don't know if it's gonna make it worse. Yeah. Last time we had on it, it was really bright. But I think that light was on last time. I think we're all right. All right, this is okay. Maybe we should turn them off. You guys want the lights on or off? <laughs> we'll keep them on. <laughs> we'll keep them on. So guys, you know, just from the heart here, off the rip. I can't tell you how, how important rapport is. I always start these off by telling people to imagine like the pitch is like an upside down triangle, you know, where, you know, the rapport and the control, I mean, rapport and control might as well be on the same thing. And then, you know, you basically are establishing the needs with the education and then you got the close down here. If we flip this over and you took out that bottom two levels, what would happen to the rest of the presentation? Can you guys see this okay on the virtual realm? Yeah, no? Uh, not really. <laughs> not really. Can you see this one over here? Uh, I can't make out like the individual words, but yeah, it's like really far away. All right. We're going to fix that. How's that look? That's better. Yeah. What does that say? Control. Okay, good. All right. So I just want you guys to know if you take out these bottom two levels right here, if you mess up on report and control, Essentially, the whole entire pyramid, the whole entire set is going to collapse. That's one thing you want to get down right away. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. There's no shortcut to it. Don't want to start the presentation until, you know, like Demetrius said, they start getting a little bit more relaxed. The tension's easing. They're replying back to your, your questions. They're even going ahead and they're actually taking the extra step and they're talking before you even ask them something. And they're telling you about their job. They're telling you about their career. They're telling you about their day, their family, whatever. It's, it's been a long 10, 12 months almost of quarantine. These people are going to be probably the easiest to talk to now more than ever. Everyone loves to talk about themselves. So don't overcomplicate the report. It's very simple. The only way we can mess up the report is if we have a bad eraser. Now. <laughs> the only way we can mess up the report, guys, is by overthinking it. You just got to really, really, really calm your nerves, relax, and don't overthink. Just let yourself go. You know, I, I always say, like, there's these five keys. He builds five keys for enthusiasm. These really helped me when I first started. And I think, Alex, you probably remember these from last time, right? Do you have your, do you have your same notes still? Is it the same notebook? Same notebook. All right. Yeah, five keys right here. Five keys, what are they? Be an actor. Be an actor. Sincere. Be sincere. Speak with emphasis and conviction. Speak with emphasis and conviction. Three. Got more? Let's just let's just let yourself go. Let I must put let's let yourself go. And surround yourself with and be enthusiastic. Surround yourself with and be enthusiastic. Enthusiast. Surround yourself with enthusiasts is probably what it is. I might have messed you up when I did the last witness last week. 
with and slash be enthusiast, be enthusiastic. Mm -hmm. So guys, these are the five keys to rapport right here, to the whole presentation rather. And for those of you guys that don't know me, I used to be a carpenter in the union for four years right after high school. And uh, it helped me out a lot to talk to some of these working guys and girls. Now, not all guys and girls you're going to see are going to be working class. They might be in the SEIU. They might be a custodian. They might be, you know, somebody that's just doing paperwork. It's not always going to be a labor union guy. But some of these labor guys and girls, especially the guys, you're going to come into their home. You're going to hop on that Zoom, and they're going to be sitting there, like, just looking right at you, just giving you no room. What is this, right? You're going to hop on, you're going to, hey, hi, how you guys doing? You're going to be like, in your mind, all nervous. Oh gosh, I hope I say the right things. I hope this guy likes me. Oh man, he's still not smiling. Hey Joe, how you doing Joe? Joe's still not smiling at you. He's just, you know, and then you're getting even more nervous and you start messing up. Just make sure you guys just let yourself go. Just let yourself go. Don't ever thank you. But that goes for the whole presentation. You know, some things that we have to establish during rapport and even before rapport is, is control. Control honestly comes first. Are we all Zoom here? Are we all virtual? We're all going to be part of the virtual sales process besides Shayla and maybe not you. You might do a couple. So you're in person, you're in person, you're in person. So this room is in person. You guys are on Zoom. So we can go through both ways, Zoom and virtual on how to basically establish control. We'll start with on Zoom. On Zoom, the biggest thing you want to do is you want to give them a confirmation code over the phone when you set that appointment. Control starts over the phone. Don't ever like, you know, be thanking these guys or thank you so much or, oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, you know, whatever they say, you kind of got to be like a robot, like in one ear and out the other. Like, you know, very straightforward. You guys got to keep in mind, you're from their union. If it's a union lead, you already have control. The only thing you can do is actually mess it up and give it back away, give the control away. You're already from their union. That's huge. You support their entire livelihood. Their whole entire family's livelihood is from the union, the union negotiated wages, and the union benefits at the job place, job site, workplace. The retirement, the pension, you don't find that anywhere else that's not union. So the first thing you got to understand is we're union as well. We're in the office professionals union, the local 277. We're the only 100% unionized life insurance company in America. That's powerful. Make sure you keep that in your repertoire. We're the only 100% unionized life insurance company in America. Be union by union. That's huge. For those of you guys that have never been in a union or none of your family members are ever in a union, you please, please believe me, please get this. This is huge. This is huge. Without unions, there'd be no days off. Without unions, there wouldn't be any paid sick time. There wouldn't be any paid vacations. There wouldn't be a minute, you know, minimum mandatory work hours. Like they used to work people to death and drop them off in the coal mine town on your wife's table when they were dead. You think I'm joking? You can look it up. So you got to have pride and confidence of where we're coming from and who we represent. You're a professional. You're in the office professionals. You got to look, talk, act. For those of you in person, smell like a professional. Now, you don't want to go in there in a full three-piece suit like me because then they're just going to think, here comes the man trying to take my money. Want to, you know, want to dress casual like you guys are in this room. But just understand that that's who you're representing. And, and, and when you're in person, we'll start with in person rather than virtual. You greet them with a firm, 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 firm handshake. Very firm. I don't care if you're a lady or not. Grab it as hard as you can. They're going to like that. That's going to tell them this guy means business. This guy, is a, he's a player. He's got, he's, 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 he's got it going on. Everybody in the room. I don't care if grandpa and grandma are sitting on the couch, you go up to them as well. Grill them with the smile. I don't even like my smile. I just grill it. I don't even, I'm, I'm actually 
got a dentist appointment next week to get Invisalign set up, which is going to be horrible. But thanks to this career, I can, I can afford that type of things now. But thing is, guys, big smile, whether it's a bad smile or a good smile, it doesn't matter. Smile, look in their eyes. The eyes are the window to a man or woman's soul. You've got to understand that. Anytime you've ever been in trouble, police, teachers, whoever it may have been, dad, husband, wife, they're looking you right in the eyes. They start talking to you like this. You're looking down. You're, oh, man, you're losing control. They're gaining control. It's the same idea. How you doing? How you doing? Is it Shayla? Nice yeah. to meet you. I'm Vince Masseri with American Income. How are you? Yeah. Nice to meet you. I'm from the main facility in Pittsburgh. Demetrius, right? Yeah. Nice to meet you. And I didn't even grab your guys' hands that hard, but I'm going to start gripping hands real hard. Oh, yeah, Alex. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Alex. I'm Vince Masseri. Nice to meet you. We handle some of your father's benefits to the carpenters union. How you doing? Hey, kid, is that your son? Hey, uh, what's your name? Joe, get back up out of your chair. Joe, nice to meet you. Handle some of your dad and mom's benefits to the carpenters union. Nice to meet you. How you doing? They're going to be like, okay. All right. This guy's in control, right? I always try to take my shoes off. If it's a nice, clean house, I'll, I'll start taking them off. Last thing you want to do is go into a nice clean house and just start destroying it, especially in the winter. Uh, I'll take my shoes off real quick for you guys. Walk to the door with some emphasis. Don't, don't get out of your car like bumping tunes and you got your sunglasses on and your whole backside's hanging out in the car and you're getting a folder together and stuff. Looking like a chump, not looking like an office professional. Have your folders ready, have your bag ready. Pull up to that driveway like there's a fire inside your car and get out of it right away. I, I've, I've done it so many times. I got like a method. I'm like a, I'm like a cop myself. I like kick it. And like by the time I kick it open, I grab my stuff and I get out of the way and it closes. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. You know? so like, they're looking at me right away. You pull in. They're going to see who is this. If they see you bending over and not looking at them, they're going to be like, oh, there's that guy. Oh, man. Oh, honey, I forgot about him. Oh, just don't answer the door. Yeah, just don't answer the door. Yeah, but too late. You're already out. You're already grilling them. You're already smiling, looking at every window, and you're walking up. I'll even wave at the window, even if there's no one in it. <laughs> I swear to God, I'll just start waving and looking. I'll calm, you know, but collect, but also urgency. Got a place to be. Got people to see. Busy, important, and in control. On the phones, in the house. What's the other three things you want? I'm busy. I'm important. And I'm what? And control. Thank you. And control. We're in a commission-based job, guys. Career. Job stands for jump off a bridge. Just over bro. I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're in a commission-based career, guys. You have to make sure you're not wasting your time out here. Yes, we want to make sure we thank them for their time. That's all cool and dandy, but we're the ones taking hours and hours out of our day, spending our time, spending our money to get to these people to deliver valuable benefits and valuable education. Even if they don't buy anything, I'm going to put that family in a better place by the time I leave there, and that's valuable enough. There's no one out there offering free education for two hours. Where, where do you find that? Where do you find that? Right? Free education and free benefits that will kit is worth $400 to $600 alone. If you got the full blown living in final will, that's worth $800 to $1,500 alone. The health services discount card. My buddy, Matt Hunsberger, my GA had struck throat the other day. I don't know why he had no health insurance set up yet because he's a goofball. He uses the health services discount card. He hops on the telemedicine thing. Some guy, some doctor hopped on there with him and was able to issue him a prescription right over the phone for his strep throat for $38. He would have had to pay $250. I don't know what your hospital or what your, your doctor does. My doctor wanted $250 to even come down there as a new patient. $250 to sign up. $250 for the actual hospital visit because I had no insurance. And then full price for the prescription. Matt was able to get all that and get a discount on the prescription for $38. Please be sold on the benefits that you're delivering here. Don't just skip all the benefits and get right to the end. It's the number one way to just solidify everything that they're fearing about you coming over. More or less so, get out of the car, get to the door fast, loud and proud, wave, smile. Don't do anything else but smile. You want to be someone that they want to approach. Same with on Zoom. When they get on, don't be like caught on your phone, like waiting for them to get on and, <clears throat> you know, drinking like this, chugging this monster, like, 
walking around like, oh, hey, how, how you got you, know, you want to be ready for them? Proper posture. How you guys doing? Joe, Mary, great. And we'll get into that in a second. But for now, let's go back to the house. Okay, the house. Get out of the car, wave, smile, get to the front door, knock on it, take five big steps back, especially right now during COVID. Give these people like here to the door. I'm not exaggerating. This much room. Don't be, if it's a staircase that goes right to the door, don't just be up against the door like, you know, like, like this and the, the door's right here and you're just like, hi. And then they come out and they're just like looking at you and they don't even want to come out because you're standing right in front of them. That's what your brother Brian did the one time. The guy, the guy comes out, he bueno, opens the door. Right when he opened the door, Brian's like, he like he had it open this much. Brian started approaching him. He's like, hey, hey, how are you? And the dude's like, you know, even more scared to like open the door because Brian's like approaching him as soon as he cracked it. Like, give them room, guys. Give them some room. Hey, I just want to make sure I'm in the right place. Is this 123 Locust Avenue? Okay, so you must be Demetrius. Everyone wants to help someone that's looking, they're lost, right? You're not just going to assume you're at the right place because you're not always going to be at the right place. I used to skip that, unlike my field trainer told me. And the one time I was like, Joe, I'm like, Joe, how you doing, buddy? He's like, oh, no, no. I was like, what do you mean, no? And he's like, oh, I'm not Joe. I don't know who you're talking about. I was like, oh, yeah, this is one, two, three, look at Saturday, right? He's like, no. And I was like, oh, okay, all right, see you later. <laughs> I'll go one door down. <laughs> so, hey, real quick, this is one, two, three, Locust Avenue, right? Okay, great. So you must be Shayla. Shayla, big handshake. Right now, it's kind of hard. Give him the whole, I'm not sure. Shayla, nice to meet you. Get it, get the elbow going up. Put the hand out. I'm not sure what you guys are cool with right now. Uh, 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 okay. Handshakes are good. All right. Nice to meet you. Yeah, don't worry. I'm clean. We're all clean. Awesome. Vince Viserri with American Income. We had that appointment today between three and five. As you look them right in the eyes and you shake their hand like this. We had that appointment today between three and five. How you doing? They're all always smiling because you're there. Oh, good, good, yeah. Real quick, the wife's home, right? Should be the third thing out of your mouth. The wife's home, right? If you don't do this, they're gonna take control. What was this about again? What? My wife's not here. Why are you here? Can you do this later? They're gonna start saying all kinds of crazy stuff. Wife's home, right? Okay, great, great. If we could just use your table, that's the next thing out of your mouth. If we could just use your table, this will make things a whole lot easier and quicker. You start walking in. And they're going to think, wow, this guy's in control. You're going to say, I'll take my shoes off here for you, Demetrius. What's Demetrius probably going to say? <laughs> He's going to say, oh, no, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. You're going to say, oh, no, it's okay. Nah, I'll take them off. Don't, you know, my, I always say my mom would beat my butt if I didn't. Everyone likes a, a nice young guy or girl that respects their parents. That shows innocence. Oh, what a nice, young, well-raised person. What a nice, well-raised adult, whoever it may be. It doesn't matter if you're young or old. It doesn't matter. Take your shoes off. They tell you not to. They're going to tell you not to every time. I don't know why. That's what they do. Oh, no, you're not going to do that. Don't take your shoes off. Oh, no, taking them off anyway. You can't control me. No control here. No, nope, taking them off. Ah, oh, then you just start beat bopping right to the table. If we could just use your table, that'd make things a whole lot easier. I'll have you guys sit to the right of me. Can you draw upside down, Demetrius? You can draw upside down, numbers, term and hole. Needs analysis, upside down? No. Okay, so you're going to have them sit to the right of you then because you can't draw upside down yet. That way they're sitting to the right of you. You want to be on the end of the table. Get Joe and Mary to the right. Don't ever have them looking across from each other. I'm just being real with you guys. You can think that this is crazy or wow, this guy's like, seems like he's too anal. Like, does this really have to happen? Like I said, many of you don't know me yet, but when you figure out about me, I'm sure you, you, you might want to understand that what I'm telling you is coming from repetitive, repetitive, repetitive reps and on top of more reps and reps. I've been all over the, the, the state of Pennsylvania, farm landowners to Amish people, to Spanish people in Illinois, to Chicago to South Side. I'm telling you, this is how it works. Don't have them look across from each other because as you're going through everything and they may not like something, when you're writing down options or what they need and you're saying, this is how much everybody has in your age group, 
what do, what do husband and wife usually do? They've been together for 20 years. What are they going to do? They know how to talk to each other without even talking to each other. All right, get them to sit next to each other. So you're always looking at them and they can't do that kind of stuff. And that way you can turn your neck, turn your whole body and you can draw right in front of them like this. You can draw whatever you're doing is right here. You're sitting here. They're going to be right here, right here. Don't be scared to get close. All right, you're going to be able to pretty much right this way. And they're going to watch you like a teacher. And you're going to see when your hand gets in the way of something, they're going to, they're going to move. You see Mary's face go up and down because your hand's covering up the needs analysis. That's how you know they're listening. Can't tell you how many times I've done that. I pull it over at my hand. will cover it. And she's trying to see around my hand because she's so focused in on it. That's how you need them to be. You're from their union. They can trust you. Ways to mess this up. Coming to the door. Hi. Hi. Joe, hi, I'm, I'm, I'm Vince of American Income. He's going to be like, what's up? You're going to be like, uh, we, had, we had an appointment today. Is, is now a good time? Now that I drove out here an hour, is this a good time? Oh, you know what, buddy? It's actually not. Uh, we, we kind of forgot. So can we just do this another time? Oh, oh, man. Yeah, we can do this another time, Joe. I'm not busy or important in control. Yeah, I'll just keep driving around all day for no reason. Sounds good. That's what's going to happen. Lead the conversation throughout the pitch, throughout the intro. Lead the conversation. If you can't, it's, it's not going to come natural. You're brand new. You're going to have nervous tendencies that are going to make you not want to do this because in normal society, this stuff is considered rude. Oh, I don't want to be rude. I don't want to impose. Well, guess what? In this society, you're going to not only hurt yourself, but you're going to hurt the client if you don't get these things down. If I don't get in that house and I don't sell them, do you think Jake from State Farm is going to somehow find this random union guy in the corner of Illinois? He might, but he's probably not going to because what they do is just cold call the phone book all day. You're these people's only hope. I can't tell you how many times I've come back to a house where someone has died that I just signed up. Happens all the time. When I was brand new, I was real shy with this guy. He convinced me not to do a policy review for him. Month later, his name was Gary Bain. I'll never forget it. And Harriet Bain, Harriet died of cancer in her stomach. Gary was not, I guess, as smart as he told me he was. Gary had called back. Funeral home director called me first. What am I supposed to do with this? Is this Vince Massari? Yeah, I'm, I'm over here at Washington County Funeral Home. Harriet Bain has passed away. They handed me this Freedom of Choice certificate and they handed me this card. I don't know what to do with it. I was like, well, first of all, you call the number on the, on the freedom of choice. Second of all, like, what the heck happened? Well, yeah, he's claiming that you guys have insurance with him. And I called that number, Vince. They said that they didn't have any insurance with you guys. I said, really? So I called up the company. The company goes, yeah, Harriet actually called up a couple of years ago and canceled both of these policies. I was like, wow, that's not what what Gary told me on the porch when he didn't want me to sit down with them and I didn't push enough because I was new and nice and wanted to respect those boundaries. Sometimes it's called tough love. It's like when your friend's trying to leave the party drunk and you got to take his keys. Give me my keys, man. Nah, nah, dog. Get away. Not getting the keys. Go sleep before you die. Same stuff. Tough love. I would have just told Gary, I have no problem. That's great. Glad you have coverage. Just my job to review what you got and make sure everything's in a good spot. Let's go ahead and get this taken care of. A little bit of umph, a little bit of control, a little bit of busy, important. I would have got in there. I could have told him that that was all happening. I could have got him something fixed. I could have reinstated his policy and he wouldn't have had to have been down 10 grand like he was crying to me and saying over the phone, they want 10 grand right now. I don't even have it, Vince. I don't even have it. This is the only life insurance I have. I never canceled. I don't know how I did that. I don't know what happened. Thank God our company had recordings of it. Harriet canceled it on his behalf. You know, so just make sure, guys, it's is bigger than you. This is bigger than the sale. Get this stuff down for the sake of the client. Get in the house, sit him down. Start talking about how busy you've been. Man, I'm glad we caught you guys today as I pull out my laptop and I'm setting everything up. 
you guys got to take notes on this because I'm not going to go through this again. You know, I will, and your trainer will, and you're going to, you're going to mess this up in the house. You're going to keep messing it up. Get this right now. Like Patrick, who's third weekend popping five K weeks, third weekend, third weekend, the deal. Cause he listened to me once and implemented immediately. Next to me every night. This changed my life. Thank you so much. Thank you for being tough on me. I couldn't even go to bed last night after that deal, Vince, because I was shaking with adrenaline until 4 a.m. This changed my life. Thank you. Straight up. Just going to give you guys the straight up knowledge. Anyway, you virtual people, hang on. I'm almost there. Don't, don't, leave, don't leave me just yet. So get in the house. Talk about where you've been. Show them your schedule. Always have a busy schedule filled out. Always have a busy schedule filled out, a full schedule, even on virtual. Have a busy schedule filled out on paper. A nice big schedule that has names all over it. I don't care if you got two appointments, put down that you got eight. Glad we caught you guys today, Joe Mary. We've been all over the place. <laughs> While I'm getting set up, I'm not just coming to your house to sit there with my hands on my lap and ask you the five and four building questions. I'm coming to your house and I'm pulling out my laptop. I'm typing in your name. It's going to take some practice to get used to, but if you don't try it, you'll never get it. Keep trying it. Fake type, fake type. I don't even, I, I type like a dinosaur. I do the typewriter. Fake type in there. Take care. We've been here. We've been there. We've been in Crystal Lake, Antioch, where that crazy kid is from, Fox Lake, Gray's Lake. Elgin, Carpentersville. Now they got me wrapping all the way around the Des Plains right here with you guys. It's been crazy. We've been here for about seven days now. We've been trying to service over 147 members. I'm glad we caught you guys today. Man, I, 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 I hate to ask, but I haven't had a second to stop. Can I trouble you for like a glass of water? Can I trouble you for a glass of water? Oh, sure. Sorry, we should have asked you when we got here, when you got here. I really am that thirsty. I really am going appointment to appointment. It's not a lie. I really did get assigned 147 leads. Same with Zoom. If they don't want to, you know, I'll, I'll go over control and Zoom in a second. Get that, get that glass of water. They come back. Man, this is a really nice song. How long have you guys lived here? Can I erase this, guys? You got this down? Yes. So that's everything up to the report building questions for the in-home. Does anyone have questions on how to establish control on an in-home set? Smile, 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 smile. I'm, I'm almost like overly gay with it. You know, it's the best word to describe it. Just everything is great. Everything is awesome. No problem. Nice to meet you. Nice home. How long have you lived here? Letting myself go. Not even thinking. Just letting it come out of my mouth. That's what people love. They love a real person like that. Oh, man. Five years. You've been living here for five years. Holy cow. Did you guys grow up in Illinois? La, 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 la. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, this is great. You're great. I'm great. This whole set's great. Transfer of belief. Sales is a transfer of belief, guys. Okay. Now on Zoom. On Zoom. Your, your trainer might say differently, but you can tell them that I told you this. Give them a confirmation number over the phone. Reason being, control starts over the phone. Need you to please, okay, we got you down for four to five, great. Go ahead and grab me a pen and piece of paper. I got some important information for you to write down. I'll get you off the phone here. Not, could you do me a favor? Could you possibly get me a pen? Could you, can I ask you one more thing? Please, please go get a pen. So go ahead, great, Joe. Go ahead and grab me a pen and piece of paper. I got some important information I need you to write down. I'll get you off the phone here. First thing's my name. Second thing's the time. Remember, it'll be any time between four and five. On Zoom, there's a big roadblock called show ratio. Massive, massive roadblock called show ratio. If you don't seem like you're the most busy person on planet Earth on that Zoom call, you are going to unfortunately get a little bit more no shows than usual and after a few weeks it's going to start to get you pretty heated so just keep that in mind 
you're on Zoom, same thing. Seven or eight days now, 147 members. We've been in this lake, that lake, these, this. I don't, I'm not even from here. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Chicago, you guys know. West Side, you guys know all kinds of stuff. I don't even know. Rogers Park, Lincoln Park, who knows, right? Say all these names. Now we're catching you guys up. You were just one of the last few members we need to get taken care of. You work in the day shift. Okay, great. Got you down for any time between four and five. Grab a pen and piece of paper. Write it down. Third thing you give them is the confirmation number. You give them your name, the appointment time, the confirmation number. In the homes, you ask for details on the house. Is there anything about your place that sticks out so I don't pass stuff a bunch of times, like color of the home or is the address on the mailbox for me at least? Is this as tall as this thing goes? Address on the mailbox for me. Right. Get some details about the house. Thinking. On Zoom, instead of getting details about the house, what you got to do for Zoom is just super solidify. Have you ever used Zoom before? Super simple, super easy, Joe. I just send you a link to your email. You click on that link. You can see me. I can see you. That way we can still walk you through your benefits and mail them out to you following the meeting. Okay, it's that simple. Explain it to them. Sometimes they need someone to explain it to them. They're gonna think it's too difficult and they're not gonna hop on because they think it's like gonna be rocket science. Have you ever used Zoom before? Right away when I book them. Have you ever used Zoom before? Okay, great. It's with all the what? Who uses Zoom these days, guys? Do you know? Teachers, doctors, nurses. That's what they're all using to conduct business these days. You've heard of Zoom before, right? Even if they say no, what would you guys say? What would someone say if they haven't heard of Zoom? Yeah, really easy to use. Even a five-year-old can do it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, Zoom's really simple, Mary. It's what all the teachers and doctors are using these days to conduct business. All I got to do is just send you a link to your email. Forgot about this thing. All I got to do is send you a link to your email. You click on the link. You can see me. I can see you. We can get you squared away. And then mail your benefits out to your phone in the meeting. I'm going to be very, very precise. Can you guys hear me in this thing? Test, test, test. Pop, pop, pop. Working. Hopefully. Feel like a rock star. Can you guys hear me with this mic now? Yeah. Yeah. Virtual. So. Okay. All right. Excuse me for one second while I Okay, I've never seen a webcam like that in my life. Some kind of spinny ball thing on the back of it. All right, so they write down the confirmation number, send them the email while you're on the phone with them. That's a sure way to improve show ratio. All right, great. It's what all the teachers and doctors are using these days to conduct business. I just send you a link to your email, Joe. You can see me, I can see you. It pops you into the meeting. We can still walk you through your benefits and mail them out to you following that meeting. Does that make sense? Okay, great. Now, what's a good email to send this over to? All right, great. Start multitasking. It's going to take some getting used to. Practice it. Make it a Zoom meeting while you're talking to them. Put their email in the comments on impact. Put the house details in the comments on impact. The more house details you get, the more likely they're going to imagine you're showing up. 
car in the driveway, roadblock here, mailbox. I always try to see are the numbers in the mailbox, numbers in the mailbox, color of the home. That's going to solidify in their brain. You showing up. Okay, got your email down. Is this Mary? I'm going to go ahead and send this over to you. Just let me know that you got it. And as soon as you confirm that you got it, I'll get you off the phone here. That way, everything is easy as possible for Saturday, okay? <laughs> You're right. Okay, Michelle, is he frozen for you? Yeah. He's not even. Oh, no, there he is. Yeah, I think he just hopped back on. Yeah, Zoom. Zoom difficulties. Wi Fi difficulties. You guys hear me okay still? Can you hear me? Okay. All right. Get them to get the email while they're on the phone. Solidify like this. All right, Mary, I got, I run around between eight to 11 members a day. I got a carpenter right before you and a few uh, firefighters right after you. When I put you down, I just got to make sure before I put you down, does, do you see any reason Kayla and Demetrius, why any time between five and seven on Friday wouldn't work for you and the wife or each other? No, gonna work no it's going to work good. Okay, just want to make sure because once we do put you down, that does mean another union member who's been waiting on their benefits couldn't be seen during that time. So you're sure that's going to work for you? Yeah. All right. Some people go as far as saying I'm a man of my word. When I say I'm going to be somewhere, I will. You have my word. I'm going to see you. There, I've heard that. Zoom is a little, little tough, guys. Got to be creative, get beef. What with the union Internet connection is unsafe. This can't sense. Good, yeah, then this same thing. You want the Wi Fi? You want the Wi Fi? Yeah, what? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, can you turn yours off? Not even. <laughs> Just until you're in your set. We'll get the Wi-Fi fixed one computer at a time, guys. Thank you, Danny. Okay. Send them the email. They get the email. You get them down. You see them. Okay. When they hop on Zoom, hey, let me see who we got here. Rachel, Michelle. Hey, Rachel. Can you see me? Yeah, I can see you. Can you, can you hear me okay? Yeah. Okay, great, great. I'm, I'm Vince Masseri. Obviously, I wouldn't even say that just yet because here's what they're wondering, guys. They're wondering who the hell is this and why am I hopping on Zoom with them, right? It's got to be flipped. We're wondering who the heck are they before we even go over these benefits. Rachel, you can see me. You can hear me. Okay, awesome. You must be Joe. You must be Rachel. Rachel, real quick, go ahead and grab that confirmation number I gave you so I know I'm going over these benefits with the right person. And they're but is going to get right off the couch or whatever they're doing. They're sitting, not taking it seriously. And they're going to start taking it seriously. Oh, yep. Let me go find it. Sorry. One second. What is that? When you get them to do things, what is that called? What are we building? Control, right? Control, control. Five, five, six, nine. Great. Awesome. So you must be Joe. You must be Mary. All right. I'm Vince Masseri with American Income. We handle some of your benefits to the carpenters. How are you guys doing today? Good? 
Awesome. Give them a little bit of a disclaimer. I'll tell you what, guys, make them feel normal. Normalize them. They're not liking this any more than you are. I'll tell you what, guys, for the past 71 years, 70 years, like 70, 70 years, we've actually been forced to come out to the house and deliver these benefits and explain them to you, answer any questions that you may have. Um, for the first time ever in company history, we've been, uh, we've been, we're doing this over Zoom right now. So you know, bear with me, I'm pretty new to Zoom as well. The only time I'm usually on here is with my girlfriend or with my family. And I tell you what, don't get your family on there because they'll probably never get you off. <laughs> or you can talk about the girlfriend. Yeah, my, my girlfriend, when I'm on here, she's always making fun of me for, you know, my hair looking weird or my, my forehead looking like I got to make it in front of my big head. They're going to laugh. I like this guy. I like this girl. She just made fun of herself. She's innocent. We can trust him. We can trust her. She's normal. All right. I'm comfortable now. Yeah. That's the only time I hop on zoom too. Yeah. That's the only time that my, yeah, my girl made fun of my head too. My parents, I couldn't get my mom to shut up either. promise you little things going to go far away. If you can't normalize it with some of those comments, find some other ones. Those are just two good ones. Let me know if I need to stop or repeat myself or if I ever cut out, we're going to be going over a lot of important information today. After that, you're going to say, all right, you know, or before that you want to slip this in there too. Right. When they give you the confirmation number, typically before what I just said, you know, before normalizing them, you'd be like, great, you must be Joe, you must be Mary. Go ahead, grab a pen, a piece of paper, get to a table real quick for me. I'm going to be sitting here taking notes as well. We're going to be going over a lot of important information and they'll get up and they'll go to the table. Prop your phone up, that way you can make sure you're comfortable. We're going to be going over a lot of important information. That's what they'll go do. Control, control, control. Now they're very, very serious. But before, what we do is a mistake. So we hop on. Hi, how are you there? Oh, nice home. How long you lived there? I'm Joe. You're Vince. Great. You guys have any family in the area? They're going to be like, why the, who the, is this person right now coming on Zoom asking me about my family and how long I've lived here and all kind of weird stuff? They're going to be a little bit surprised, guys. You're going to turn them off. Control meter going down, control meter going down. Is this program legit? Is this person legit? Are these benefits really that important? This guy looks like he's 12. He's talking like he's nervous. He's talking like he's hiding something. What's he nervous about? What's he hiding? What's she hiding? My phone's ringing, let me answer it. This is more important, that's more important. Sorry, Vince, we gotta go. How much longer is this gonna take? Whole entire shift, whole entire tide can come and change with, with a bad intro and obviously bad rapport, which we're going to get into. So make sure your intros are spot on before anything else. If I mess up my intro and I mess up my rapport, I'm like hesitant to even start. Like it's, you might as well just give up. Sometimes you can build rapport if there's a mean dude rushing you. You can try to get rapport back throughout the benefits, throughout the no cost benefits, throughout the will. You ever had to deal with this before? Have you ever been an executor on a will? Oh, your dad died. Show, show, what was it? Be sincere. Man, your dad died. Sorry to hear that, brother. How old was he? Was it just from old age? My dad's 72 as well. I always like to ask just to look out for things. That's good. I'm glad he lived a full life. I appreciate you sharing that with me, Joe. Was he a carpenter too? Oh man, I bet you, I bet you making him proud following in his footsteps like that. Lead the conversation. Don't be a student, be a teacher. I don't care how old you are. That's ways you can get rapport back throughout the no cost benefits. Discount card, we're talking about prescriptions. We're talking about doctors. We're talking about, um, insurance in general you know what i mean oh your job doesn't do that for you your job doesn't have vision care okay great well i'll tell you what how long you've been down there again you can always get rapport back throughout the no cost benefits if you have to but there has to be this commonality where this trust barrier goes away and they start to open up to you because first they buy you first they buy you 
I'm not even going to write it down because it's very simple. First they buy you, then they buy the company, and then they buy the product. Always remember that. First they buy you, then they buy the company, then they buy the product. You guys see how I switched my voice just now though? And now I'm talking like this. You guys need to be able to do this with your voices too. You're gonna to need to change a little bit of who you are up until this point that you got here. You need to become an actor. Be an actor. One of the five things I wrote down, be sincere. But when we need to, we're speaking with emphasis and conviction. If I sat up here this whole workshop and I talked like I just was, Half of you guys will be falling asleep. So just understand there's three different voices. There's this one that everybody loves. That you try to make everyone love at least. There's the serious one where I'm coming to the door, go grab that confirmation number, yada, yada, yada. And then there's the sincere when you're closing. As long as you mastered the beginning and you were loud and proud in the beginning, that pyramid control rapport Closing's at the very bottom. Closing is going to be that much easier. I don't got to yell now when he tells me he can't afford it or he wants to think about it. I just have to sit here and talk to him like this. I understand that you want to think about it, Joe, and I proceed with my closes. And that's how you close a deal from the heart. But other than that, guys, that's everything I can tell you about how to start a presentation in person or on the virtual end. Any questions on that before I go into the five report voting questions? No, Michelle's like, no. Michelle's like, get me out of here. You with me, Michelle? Who knows the five report building questions? Let's each get one. Demetrius, we'll start with you. This is the lovely house. How long have you been here? Boom. How long have you been here? Can you say it like you're in the real house? Let's hear it. Oh, all right. So this is a nice house you have here. Um, I like what you've done with the place. I don't like you lived in the area. Okay. Right. I believe it a little bit. I like what you've done with the place. House we went to last night was really nice. That's why I said. Yeah, yeah. I, like it. I, like it. I like it too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Look at that smile, man. You just got to use that smile. Home, how long have you been here? Who can give me another one? How about you, Michelle? Oh, man. <clears throat> um, you can ask about their family. How, how are you doing? How's everybody doing? I'm sorry. The family, how's your dad, how's your parents, the parents' health one? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, parents, there you go. Parents, health. What's another one? What do you do for a living? Job more. We'll get someone else. How about another one, Shayla? Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually it's actually how long have you worked for yeah blank company xyz group union what's the third one who got the third one up in here rachel uh ask how big their family is if they have any kids i don't know Hmm? Is that the no. one? Brothers, sisters, aunts, and uncles. So they live and then the parents, huh? Yeah. Years, years, years. We're still the same. What's the last one? Late for some orders. Oh yeah, come on, someone hit me with it. Oh, um. You know we do fun around here. That's, That's what it says it. in the script here. That's it. What do you like to do for fun around here? Why do we think we ask how long have they lived in the home for? 
Why do you think we make them elaborate on their home? Each one of these has a purpose that you guys probably won't understand until you're like 100 presentations in and start understanding the psychology behind the sale. Give it owner rent. Owner rent, that's a good one. Figure out if they own or rent. There's one more I'm looking for though. Kind of shows stability. Exactly, exactly. It shows stability, exactly. And the last thing I can say about the home question is when you have put a hundred thousand plus dollars into something and you've been locked into this for 30 years, which is half a lifetime, boy, oh boy, do they love talking about what they got. Their home is their pride and joy. Easy icebreaker. Oh, about 10 years ago, oh, 10 years ago, I see you got the new deck in the back. You guys put a pool in. Oh yeah, well, that's Joe. He's Mr. Carpenter. He's trying to do everything, but he never gets anything done. I'm always working. <laughs> Joe's always working. Definitely, definitely. I totally understand. You gonna finish the deck this year, you think, Joe? Oh, uh, we'll see. When this pandemic crap is up. Oh man, the kids like the, the kids are the kids are probably excited for the pool, right? What kind of pool? In ground, above ground. Nice deck. What kind of wood? This wood? Fake wood. I don't know. What do you guys know about decks? What do you guys know about home improvement? Some of you probably already own a home in this room. Paint it off yet? Oh, great. Awesome. Oh, that's so cool. This home looks old. Is it from like the 1900s? I love the old architecture. Do you guys think I really like the old architecture? No. I mean, I kind of do, but I really don't. Only because I was a carpenter. Not a carpenter just makes stuff up. It's a nice kitchen. You guys remodel that? Oh, Mary's gonna get up and talk all about that kitchen real quick. This is the, you you get up. You get up. Wow, this is awesome. Did you did you just is this real? Mary, is this real subway tile in the back? Yeah, actually, she gets up. Yeah, see what we did was we put this here and we did that there. Joe's sitting there like, what the hell's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> but they like that. Most of them are happy wife, happy life. So they ain't going to say nothing. You win the wife over, you're in good hands. Second question, family in the area. Why do you think we ask that? Referrals. Referrals, that's right. Ding, 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 ding. Referrals. Third question, parents, health. And don't just roll into this like a goofball. Like, I like I don't even live here. Okay, family in the area? They're gonna just be like, yeah, 20 years. No, one brother. Parents, yeah, they're dead. Like, you don't wanna, you obviously have to have fluff. You gotta have good transitions. Family in the area, oh, your brother's down the street? Hey, did you guys grow up in Illinois your whole life? Oh, okay, I'm from Pennsylvania. This place is crazy. I've never seen a single hill my whole time I've been out here. Or a deer, for that fact, for that, for that matter. Everyone tells me, oh, watch out for them deer. I literally have never seen it. I've saw one deer. I've been out here for 12 months. Half the time I was driving to, 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 to Peoria and southern rural areas. I never saw a deer yet. Boring, ass, flat. No, okay. <laughs> have you guys, has anyone ever been to PA or anywhere else? Has anyone ever been to a, a mountain state at all? Yeah, agricultural I actually state just can... traveled. I just traveled um, Oklahoma, Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, Nevada, Utah, Colorado, Ooh. and Kansas. Yeah. I live in a camper. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Oh, you got a lot to talk about. Yeah. These middle class people yeah. will eat you up. That's what's up. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. That's really good. I'm glad to hear that. There you go, you, you got it all right there. Camper, New Mexico, this, that, the other. That dude's like, what kind of camper? He's gonna be asking you, what kind of camper you have? He's gonna try to be like looking through the camera. <laughs> I got the GMC 5900. <laughs> you got the running shower in yours? Oh man. Yeah, Joe, I'm 
over the place. They would love that. Unless they're, of course, unless they're from the hood, right? <laughs> they're from the hood. They could have, like, you gotta know your audience. You, you want some good leads that are out somewhere else, then not good, but I'm just saying good for you. Then get with your manager. Hey, I'm not the best with these people. Can you put me with those people? Okay, great. Know your audience. You gotta be a chameleon. I'm sitting down with anyone that's from the hood or from the, I don't know, like lower income. I'm not going to come in there with my nose up. I'm not going to come in there like my, my shit don't stink. I'm going to come in there real humble. I'm going to have some slang in there. Hi. Right. Say hi. Right. Oh, that's what's up. Nice, Joe. That's what's up. All you been doing that for? Cool, man. You're, you're, you're a hard worker, huh? You holding it down for Mary, aren't you? Yeah. Get them the joke. Usually making fun of yourself is what gets them going. Gets anyone going that's like more people like. Like people that are lower income for whatever reason, they're like more, they're they're better people sometimes. They're like more inclined to talk to you and like you and conversate with you, you know. Higher income people are more like, man, I just lived here for five years. Yeah, man, man, man. What's this about? So you know how to kind of you gotta know your audience, you know. All gonna be figured out in reps. Reps, 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 reps. You want the shortcut to success? Get 100 presentations in your first 90 days. There it is. Parents and health. Family in there, your brother's down here, your sister's down there. Did you guys grow up here your whole life? Wow, that's awesome. What made you wanna live here? Oh, wow, where'd you go to high school? I went here. You went there? That's great. Awesome. Yeah, as I'm typing, as I'm looking busy. Your, your parents, did they grow up around here too? Are they in the area? Okay, mom and dad, are they still doing good? They're alive? Great. <laughs> you know, I think on the script it says, like, how are they? Are they alive? It's like kind of weird. <laughs> are your parents dead, Joe? <laughs> you know, how are your parents? Are they still around? There's a lighter way to say it. Your parents still around? Oh, okay, good. How, how, how are they doing? How's their health during these uncertain times? Oh, great. That's good. Yeah, my dad's 72. He's getting up there. I can't get him to put the, the Jameson down. He tells me, don't worry about me. I live my life. That's what my dad tells me. Oh, my God. Parents' health, we ask that because what's it going to tell about their health? Probably some pretty good explanation on their health. Their dad has high blood pressure. He's about 50 years old. They're 40 years old. They're probably going to have high blood pressure, too. They're looking like they got, you know, a little bit of overweight or they're shorter or they're smoking cigarettes and Whatever it may be, like they probably got high blood pressure too. You can start to pre-qualify. You guys are what's called field underwriters when you're out there. Your parents and health, how long have you been with that group? That's going to show you how dedicated they are. I'm going to talk to a guy that's been in the carpenters union for one year and he's 21 years old. I'm going to talk to him like straight script. Like he's going to just, he won't doubt a single thing I'm saying. But Joe, this is a problem. We need to get you enrolled in your permanent benefits right now, Joe. Okay. But that's like, that's like what you can do with the young guys that have been in for a year. They've been in for a year. This is it. This is your union insurance. Every time the health insurance people come around to these job sites, they give you one shot. They say, here's your health insurance. They say, here, enroll now. you got 12 days. Here you go. Same thing with us. Same thing with the life insurance. They come around, come to your group. Maybe it's New York Life. Maybe it's Mutual of Omaha, whoever it is. They say, here's your benefits. We'll be back tomorrow and make a decision. We're doing the same stuff. It's not different. I'm here today to discuss your no-cost benefits and enroll you into your permanent life benefits as well. Only problem is everyone tries to qualify. Just not everybody can. If we can get you squared away, we'll get you squared away. If we can't, we won't worry about it. Sounds good? All right, good. Just got to make sure we get you squared away today. We'll go into that script here in a second, and that will close us out. How long have you been with the group? One year, 30 years? They've been there for 30 years? Be careful. They're probably going to start bitching about the union in a second. Some of them just don't like the union, even though it's supported their entire life. <laughs> Look at her dog. Camper life. But um, <laughs> that's dedication right there. She's still writing. Hi, puppy. Hi, puppy. Hi, puppy. Hi. Do you see the screen? 
anyway, know about the unions. Educate yourself on the unions. The Teamsters, some guy named James Hoffa, Jimmy Hoffa Jr., whatever, Jimmy Hoffa, I mean, he like embezzled their entire pension and destroyed their livelihood. They hate James Hoffa. They hate Jimmy Hoffa. Like, just know about the unions. Like, like this guy, just be ready. Someone's going to, you know what? You're going to be union this, the union that. The union saw this as a problem. The union gave you this. The union, they're going to be like, you know what? I don't, even, I don't even like the union. You know, they, I've been working hard for 35 years for the union, and they still lay me off because I can't work. You know, usually if the dude's all salty, he's probably like a problem on the job. You're getting laid off a lot. Most of the times it's your fault. So don't get, don't, don't, don't like let, let the whole world come crashing down. Just, oh man, Joe, you seem like a hardworking mm -hmm. man to me. Why'd they do that? I don't know. I just don't like it. They keep laying me off. Unions never done nothing for me. Oh, well, that's exactly why our company was created, Joe. They saw there was a lot of problems with your union. This is a good way for us to try to give back. There you go. End of story. Don't go arguing or anything like that. He ain't using the computer. He's reading a book. What do you do for fun around here? Last thing. Who can guess what this is going to tell us? What do you like to do for fun around here? Where they spend their freaking money on everything but their life insurance. What do you like to do for fun around here? Michelle likes to travel the entire world. So when I start showing her options, I'm going to tell her that's two gallons of gas. That is two tanks of RV gas right there, Michelle. Do you care about two tanks of RV gas more than your family? No, I'm just kidding. That's the last thing you want to say to somebody. <laughs> you professionally implement that in, though, at the very end when I said you get quiet and soft. I understand you can't afford it, Michelle. I get it. I know every time we get caught up, something puts us back in the hole. I understand, you know, but right now I know that traveling around and that RV is probably really important to you. And it, it may seem more important than, than this right now, but the thing is, without you, there wouldn't be an RV or any traveling. So we got to make sure that first we get, right, you guys get the gist, right? Got to make sure, can we? set this aside and maybe dial back on some of the RV expenses just to make sure that our family can still travel once we're gone. Something like that. I don't know. You kind of got to be in the whole two hour pitch to know exactly how to tie it down to them. Michelle might look at that and be like, shut no, But you got to know Michelle. Any questions on these questions? Or how to build rapport? I don't want to see no one in this group going in and messing up rapport. If he's being a hard ass, kill him with kindness. If she's being a biatch, kill her with kindness. Kill her with kindness. Like if Michelle was being like very stern the whole time and she was just staring at me like she wanted to, you know, kill me, I would start asking her, where are you at right now? Are you, Michelle, you look like you want to come to the screen and, and and get at me. What's wrong? <laughs> can you hear me okay, Michelle? Right? I'm gonna ask a question. Oh no, I can I can I can hear you. I can hear you. Are you in an RV or something? Oh, that dog is so cute. Oh my god. As much as Michelle wanted to hate me, she would have started to like me. Oh yeah, the dog is cute. What kind of dog is that, Michelle? Crack him, crack him, pry, get him. You won't be good at it at first. It takes practice. Intros, intros, intro, intro, intros. This is always a tough part of this training class because like there's like there's two different intros floating around this office. Give you guys like a five minute bathroom break, water break. Random, random break before we get into the last half, then we'll close out by three. Sure thing. Damn, that was a deep voice. Where'd you get that voice about? <laughs> <laughs>
Yesterday? Hmm? That was your first sit? Yeah, yeah. It was pretty good. He was, um, what's it called? Uh, what? Some type of director, but I can't remember what it was for. But uh, an engine, engine, engine director. Some engine, I can't remember. Some, some engineer. Engineer? Yeah. Train engineer? Some, I don't know what it was. He was a director or something. And uh, his house was pretty big. Like, they talked about smoking a lot. Cause he was like, they smoke tobacco, but he was trying to make it known that he had smoked me that Relax. It was And then you, uh, he was a Like, he was over there talking, like, talking to his wife, like, talking about some of the shit there. And she was like, I'm <laughs> 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 
What's your jacket? Hmm? What's your jacket? What is my jacket? Yeah, Liberty, what's it say? University. In Virginia? Yeah. That's where you went to college? Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, I know a few people who went there. Yeah, really? All right. I used to work at a summer camp. And it was Christian Center. Oh. And they, a lot of them came over there. Like, it's like Christian Mingle University. Oh, <laughs> it's a good school, but it's not a good school, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, nah, it's, they're really stuck up over there. I, I can see that. Mm -hmm. they, had a, they had Donald Trump come for the commencement speech. It was like, uh, um, what do you call it? Protesters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're a whole bunch of outside of our school. From the university? Just people in the, and then um, they were local people. Like the students didn't really care. I don't think they did, but most of them were pretty upset. But most of them were just like local people. Like there was like there was like a whole script of just people walking up and down like Ooh, don't control people yeah. <laughs> I I could see I could see that university being like that just because you know when I was in high school still so I looked at it because after I looked at the camp, mm -hmm. I was like, well. Let's see how much this college is. And I looked at the tuition. I was like, all right, I'm going to stick with yeah, my school. They, they, they jump tuition every year. I think they went up like almost two grand. After, like my first year, I stayed in like an apartment system. Mm -hmm. I left there because it got too expensive. I went to the next one. And I, I already knew they were going to be expensive by coming back the next year. And then I just saw them to live the year after that. And they went up yeah. another, another, I think, another thousand dollars. And I think it's because they keep building stuff on the school. Like they get donations all year long. Yeah. And then we'll still the money to just add on to the school. Make it look nice. That's yeah. perfectly pleasing. All the people look in my line. Yeah, it looks nice it's a little longer, but yeah. when'd you graduate? Okay. What so when were you there? So, um 2014 to like 2017. So Is I it was, big or small? Because like I feel like because in my mind I'm like if I give you a name, are you gonna know the person or not? I probably wouldn't because okay. the school is huge. Okay. In my opinion, that was one of my first university I went to. So it, it wasn't like big as like so I'm from Maryland. It's not as big as like what question? Stop you there. Okay. Why'd you move here? So my girlfriend, I live with her. Um we've been talking for a while. I'm just having to move in together. Um, here, you talked to her here mm -hmm. from when you were in Maryland? No, so I was about okay. to get into that. So okay. I went to Good. okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I went to um Olivet out, out in Bourbonnet. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think I went there too. Yeah, I went there for a uh, trash fellowship like in 2013, just for one year. I tried to come back home, went to Liberty, and then we come back to Oh, okay. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's a big school. I wouldn't really know too many people there. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just wasn't sure. So I'm like, I'm not really done in Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool thing is, it's in the mountains. Yeah, but, but it rains a lot, so. Like all year round? Mm. This oh. is rain, when it rains, it, it rains like oh, hard, yeah. The pictures of my first poster look really nice, and that's why I was like, that is such a nice school. Like, What's up, man? Yeah, I'm in this train class. class. Like right on the mountains, so, like you can see everything. Like you can see, I think on the top we had a, um, it's crazy. When I first heard about it, they had like a snow, um, Snowboarding summer thing. I don't know what you call it. Like a hill? A sweet hill? Is that what you call it? Yeah. I don't know. But they had like their own, but it was like real sound. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, like their own little thing like that. They had all. I don't think he is. It was a small little car you got. Um, on someone, on, um, just the, no, no, you just you just want to relate to them, to relate to them at some point that. They're right. No. You know, Someone with with, with the credit, you, you know, single income, 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 Collective bargaining agreements. Yeah, you know, no, we're, we're these no cost benefits. Congratulations. You, know, that's that's so exciting. Exciting. you want to watch that credit in the PR video? <laughs> is it your first time? Do you know what you're going to get? No, we'll find out. In the, if you have time, I'll throw that on. Yeah, yeah. Then call. I'll, I'll text time. I'll call, call you back. Yeah. Like you got you know, it, though. Just make it make sense to them. Just don't say union. Make sure you say credit union. And you know, bring that letter up and really stress the discount card. Hey, we're going to you are going to? Well, I'll let you know. All right, brother. <laughs> I'm like, right, I've never been in a birth before. Yeah, like, yeah. Right, brother. Like, yeah. Like, my girlfriend, she, for her friend, she did the um, home birth for them. Mm -hmm. And she was able to, like, I could buy two people birth. And 
Yeah. Is, she, <laughs> is she gonna do like just in the bed, or you know, just oh, the gotta, tub. She's in the tub. Yeah. Okay, so you guys are gonna like rent that big tub that they have? I don't know. That's what. Yeah, I guess we're gonna rent the. Yeah. yeah, that's what she's doing too, and I was like, ah. But, I mean, I hope I'm good with bodily fluids because if not, we're gonna find out. <laughs> she's like, can you take pictures and everything? I was like, if you can, if I can keep my eyes open yeah. and be conscious, <laughs> yeah, uh, sure. It was I, I, like she showed me the video. I didn't actually see. She's like, here, look at this. I was like. It's, it was definitely something. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it was great. It was rough. That's exciting. Yeah. All right, guys. So these ratings, I mean, I got the I got the extra sauce on the ratings, and this, you know, people that have the like Michelle, you're from Casey's team. Rachel, you're from Drew's team, right? Yeah. And then, and then uh, Demetrius, you're from Case or Drew? Drew. Drew. Yeah. Okay. So correct me if I'm wrong. You're financial. You, you know, you're you're after the rapport is over. You know, you guys give the why we're there. I could probably talk to you guys all day, but we got about seven members right after you. Uh, did you remember filling out the card? Remember filling out the letter? Okay, great. And then okay, because I got your guys' script right in front of me, so. Um, you guys are the only people in here that have ours. You already know what it is. So I'm just going to focus this on them real quick, kind of let it bleed into ours and add some sauce from ours as well. Cause they're basically the same exact thing. Ours just goes a little bit more in detail. That's all guys. Um, but. <laughs> See what we do around here. You have young men reading books all day to themselves in the hallway. That's, that's what we're about here. Um, so guys, you know, after the rapport is over, okay, you, you want to make sure you wrap it up. When they start tailing off and they start going and you know you're going to probably blow your next sit if you don't get out of there, even more control is to actually cut them off. You know, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, you don't want to do it rude. You just wait for a spot. Pick a spot to jump in and cut them off. Yeah, absolutely. No, you're right. I know, I know. I, I hate Donald Trump too, Demetrius. Yeah. Now, uh, guys, I could probably sit here and talk to you all day. You seem like great people, Shayla, Demetrius. <laughs> I really like this area. I don't know why, but you know, the Chicago city is more for me. I was down in Peoria before this, and those guys are just a little bit too country. And I felt like I was in like the Children of the Corn documentary, so whatever, you know, make a joke about it, about some rednecks. If you're out in the city or you're out in the country, make some joke about the city slickers, right? You guys appreciate this area. You guys seem really cool. Butter them up, right? Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get started because I got about seven other members right after you. They're going to be like, holy shit. <laughs> right. So you came in, you talked about all these areas you were in. You talked about how packed your schedule is. Now, when you're done with your report, you're going to talk about how many members you got to move on to. And it's all going to go together. And when it comes down to the end of the sit and they're wondering why they got to make decisions today, you already told you why, Joe. Don't you hear how busy I am? Mary will tell you she was listening. Right. So, um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get started. We got about seven more members right after you. Did you, did you, you remember filling out this three by five yellow card, right, Joe? Okay. Do you remember the letter of explanation that came with the card that talks about the program? If you're in person, print these things out. If you're over Zoom, share your screen. I saw someone the other day not sharing your screen on my team. I was like, what do you, you're just gonna, they're just gonna take your word for it. Like show them the letter <laughs> with the signature, with the header from the union, the stamps, the vice presidents down the side, show the letter. No one else has that kind of stuff. Okay, so basically, guys, um, you didn't make it to the meeting. Okay, you remember the letter? All right, guys. So at the, at the, this is what my team does. This is something you can add if you want to, okay? We talk about the letter for a little bit. I think Casey does this as well. Um, we go into the letter and we start sharing our screen and we're like, you know, it just goes over Joe and Mary, how since 1990, we've covered over 200 million Teamsters with these policies and we paid out over $500 million in benefits to 100,000 Teamsters and their families, okay? Now, it also kind of goes into the no-cost benefits a little bit there, and I'm sharing, I'm showing, and then, and I'm following with like a highlighter. Like if, you're, if your thing's got a highlighter feature on it, which, which it should, and any Windows computer does, learn how to use it and, and, and start highlighting and, and annotating where you're going. Highlight here, highlight there, just little strips. They're gonna see what you're doing and they're gonna follow your voice. It's gonna be perfect, like a teacher, okay? Once they do that, you go down to the bottom, you kind of just skip through it. it. goes over the no cost benefits a little bit there. And then at the very bottom, it says in solidarity, 
Richard Trumka, your president. You know Rich, right, Brian? Alex? He's a great dad. Yep. Great guy. Great. Awesome. Yeah, great guy. Now, he's the one that signed off on these benefits. And, and right beneath his signature, it just lets you know, Shayla, an AIL representative who is a member of the local 277 is going to call on you to deliver your certificate of coverage, provide your no-cost benefits, and witness your beneficiary designation. It also lets you know that uh, there are additional permanent insurance that the union set up for you today as well in a B union by union spirit. And before that little sentence right after that, that says strictly on a voluntary basis, I unshare the screen just so they don't know it's voluntary. We want them to kind of think it's like a, everyone's doing a thing. No big deal. Get in line, right? If you want to tell them it's voluntary, you can. I'm not saying it's like we gotta miss, miss, you know, deceive people. I'm just saying it's gonna help you. I'll unshare, and they'll be back to my big face on the screen now, right there, right? So, uh, now, did you guys make it to any of the meetings where they talked about this benefit program with you guys? Rachel, did you go to any of those meetings? Uh, no, I didn't. Okay. No problem. Let me catch you up here on what you may have missed. So basically what they did for you guys, they set you up with four no cost benefits, right? Here's the more assumptive version. Okay, you can have two things. You can, you can take from what you want from mine, but I want you guys to use yours. Everyone does their script a little bit differently. I'm just gonna share with you what mine is. They set you up with four no cost benefits, right? One of which is that insurance policy that would go to Joe God forbid something were to happen to him, Shayla. Now, 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 Joe, if something, if something did happen, or now, now, Shayla, if something did happen to Joe, you wouldn't be calling up the union wondering where all that money is. You'd be calling up our company, American Income, because we're the ones responsible for paying that out. We're actually the only 100% unionized insurance group in America. So that's why your union also sets you up with additional permanent life insurance benefits as well that you actually have to qualify for. Now, on my way over here, uh, I, you know, or we were looking at your paperwork and we didn't see any additional paperwork filled out for your additional insurance benefits, Demetrius. So part of our job is today is to enroll you in your additional insurance benefits, okay? Only problem is, Demetrius, everyone we sit down with, they always try to qualify. It's just they're at a union negotiated rate. They're a little bit harder to qualify for. But if they make sense and you can qualify, we gotta make sure we get you squared away today during your enrollment period. This part can be messed up by being said too quick, too low, no voice flux, they're asleep because your rapport sucked, right? Make sure they're listening right here. If they're not looking at you on Zoom, they're not listening to you. That's why I was giving Michelle crap earlier. I was like, Michelle, you still with me? Right? That's hard, I don't blame her. It's hard to listen to someone up here rambling back and forth talking in circles like I was for a few minutes, okay? Make sure you get them back in here. Additional benefits you have to qualify for. Only problem is everyone else tries to qualify. If you can qualify, we got to make sure we get you enrolled today during your enrollment period. If you can't qualify, we just simply wouldn't worry about those today, and we would just get you out the no-cost benefits. Does that make sense? Is that fair enough? That's a super assumptive line that you can definitely use when you have more confidence. Now, if they tell me they don't want any insurance, I got it all out of the way. No problem, Joe. There's a needs analysis to determine whether you even need that anyway. It's just my job to go over both parts of the program and get you caught up with all the other members. I'd rather him tell me there than me get through this thing after one hour and a half and him be like, oh, I didn't know we had to go through this. I didn't know we'd be making this decision today. I, I didn't know. I, I wasn't. Uh, da, 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 da. Buyers are liars. Buyers are liars. I've said that word for word like I just did. And sometimes they just weren't listening. And me being so nervous and new, I just was like, oh, okay, I got it out of the way. Thank God. Time to get into the benefits. They're wondering what I'm doing. They're, they're looking at me crazy. I better get into it. You get all these little voices in your head. Get that stuff out of your head. Get it out of your head. They're willing to give you time. They're listening to what you got to say. Don't worry. Slow down. They like you. If rapport was good, they love you. 
you could say the most wild stuff ever if the report was good and they'll still like you. You can be like, today, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to take your dog. The union needs your dog. And he needs to, they need to experiment on him to get blood work down to kennel, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Um, anyway, that's one intro. That's, that's for my team in here, right? Because that's what we've taught them since day one. You guys' intro, still just as good. Nothing wrong with it. By the way, did you make it to the meetings where they talked about the benefit program? Okay. Do you remember the card and the letter that you sent in? Great. That's why I'm here. When you got this letter from the local Teamsters 210, you returned this card right here. In the letter, it said that when you returned the response card, you'd be contacted by an AIL representative from the OPEIU. That's me, the Office Professionals Union, right? Then you guys go showing who we are. You have a slideshow in yours where you show who you are. AM Best Ratings, founded in 1951, 100% union label company. Make sense? Have you ever heard of American Income before? Pretty common, we don't advertise. We handle all the permanent benefits for the unions in the area. We help 30 to 40,000 different unions and groups. As you can see, we're a highly rated life insurance company, both at the Benefits Business Bureau and AM Best. Have you ever heard of AM Best? Go through the ratings, and then you guys give them the juice right here. You go through customer service, you go through financial strength, you go through timeless payout. That's something that was taken from ours. These are like the same script now. We're one of the only companies, customer service. Typically we'd be driving all the way out to your house, delivering these benefits. I'm from Pennsylvania. I'd be driving all over the place to get down and get, get the benefits to our members. Snow, rain or shine, whatever you gotta say to make them look like you're like doing it all for the customers. Now we're actually Zoom, you know, during the pandemic, we've been deemed an essential business. So we're taking care of you guys virtually. Never want to have to have you guys call up the company, listen to elevated music. You always have a live person here. Never want to have to have you get on the phone with someone halfway across the world. We're all union. We're all 100% unionized. Everyone you call from our company is going to be another union member based out of our office in Waco, Texas. Second reason for the rating is financial strength. You guys know, just read the script. Just read it with conviction. Read it with emphasis. Couple paragraphs right here, very simple. For those of you guys that are following ours, it's a little bit more. We saw it up a little more. We got stories about 9 11. My job is simple. Here's your why we're there. It's really only two parts one, to go over the no cost benefits that have already been set up for you, and two, review some additional benefits that you might have to qualify for. I just need you to listen and then ask any questions that you might have since we try to take care of everything today. In fairness to all the other members waiting to be seen during your service period. Any questions, Joe, on who we are, why I'm here right now, or how you got contracted through us? Call my phone. Hello. <laughs> hey, Vince. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm in the union. No, I'm in the union. I'd love it. I'm American Income first and to call me. That'd be great. I've called American Income people before. It was pretty funny. Yeah, buddy, I know what this is about. I got this policy on myself. I used to work for you guys. Oh, okay. Well, I, mean, I don't know how the hell you're going to raise it now. They're not here anymore. Do you want to? Well, you know, we don't come around often. This is your shot. No, thanks, buddy. I'm good. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. You sure? You only got 50,000. Just throwing stuff at the wall, hoping it sticks. That was when I was brand new. I was like, you work for us? I was like, what the hell? My mind was blown. I was in Tommy's backyard in PA, like, what? He had a little, little, little cookout, little lunch, little call session on like Labor Day or something. Then you guys go into the no cost benefits. And that's the end of the story. That's all she wrote. Please, please, please read these no cost benefits with some, some real value. Like become the no cost benefit, like Nazi, like just, just be so about it. It's not even funny. 
like oversell the, the crap out of the no cost card. This is your health services discount card. This was designed to save our members up to 60% off on out of pocket expenses where they saw our members paying out of the pocket the most. First part is eye care, hearing, prescription, and chiropractic. The other part's the gold program. You used to have to pay for the upgrade. Now you don't. The whole entire discount card has been updated. It's about 12, about, you know, last April, they came out with the new AIL Plus card. You got your whole slideshow going. Everything you're saying, you're highlighting, it's matching up. You guys understand, like, I use this analogy every time I'm in this class. So Alex has heard this twice now, but who went to college in here? Uh, all of us? Mm -hmm. yeah. Michelle's like, hell no. I'm with you, Michelle. Oh, you did? Oh, okay, good. All right. So I'm the only one. Cool. Anyway, high school, if you didn't go, same thing, same story. How many of you guys had a professor that you hated? Come on, let me get some hands. Yeah, okay, great. How many of you guys had a professor that you loved? He was the man. He, she was the woman. Okay. Which class did you learn more in? The one with the better teacher. The one with the better teacher? Mm -hmm. Why is that? I wanted to be there. Because you wanted to be there, right? Easier to listen to, right? Yeah. <laughs> Made more sense. Had a different impact. You, you, you perceive their words with a different tone, mm -hmm. right? Excuse my French, but it's the same shit here, okay? You come in there, you're all down, and you're just, oh, guys, how long have you lived here? Nice time, how long have you lived here? All right, yeah, oh, great. Okay, two years. Family around? Okay. How long have you been in the carpenters for? Wow. Awesome. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, do you remember filling out the card? Okay, these benefits, right? They don't, they're not going to like, like we have an 8,000 word script, guys. We have an 8,000 to 10,000 word script and the human brain can only process like our average attention span in the United States is eight seconds. And you're throwing 180 words a minute at them and it's eight seconds. And we have an 8,000 word script. They can't afford to miss anything. If they miss the part about the additional benefits and how they have to do this today, those 10 words and those eight seconds it probably took you to say it, you're gonna to get to the end and what are you gonna get? I wanna think about it. I didn't know this was gonna be like this today. You gotta to become the teacher that you liked. Come in there, teacher that you didn't like and never asked you how your day was, never asked you how your home life was, never asked you what wrong, what's wrong, how can I help you? They never really went out of their way to help you. You have to distance yourself from every other salesman that they've ever seen in their entire life. Go out of your way to learn about them, to ask about Michelle's dog, to ask about Michelle's traveling, to ask about Rachel and that really cool haircut that I just tried to get at the barber yesterday and it messed the, he, he messed it all up. So now I just spiked it up and it looks even worse. You know, I was trying to get the messy hair down look that Rachel's got, couldn't get it. Gauges are cool as hell. Punk rock, rock on. Meet me at the punk rock show. I'll be there in this suit, moshing, whatever. I will be, no lie. Just saying, relate to them. Relate to them any way you can. Go out of your way. Smile, big smile. That's awesome, that's awesome. This is great, this is great. What happened to your dad? Sincerity, be an actor, speak with emphasis and conviction. The five keys to enthusiasm. That's going to make you stand out as a cool teacher. That's what you need to do in rapport. The cool teacher I know, he used to come in, hey, Masseri, sit down. You always stand up. How'd you get, did you do your homework last night? Oh, you, you son of a gun. You're going to be running the hills today in football. I'll tell you that right now, Masseri. I'm just like, oh, Mr. Confeggi, I'm, I'm sorry, man. You're right. I'm like, I hate letting you down, you know? It's like. Now he starts teaching. He's teaching me about the planets. He's teaching me about the world, space, astrology. I'm like, this is the coolest stuff I've ever heard in my entire life. I'm glued to Mr. Compeggi because he's, ho, oh, hey, down there, up here, boom. How's your life? Let me catch you in the hallway. You doing good? You staying out of trouble? You staying out of trouble? Good. That's what I like to hear. I'm Mr. Compeggi. I'm the cool teacher, right? 
You come in there the same way. Hey, how you doing, Joe? Hey, awesome. I'm the cool benefits rep. I ain't the classic salesman. How's your life? How's your wife? Carpenter. Cool. That's awesome. I give you credit. How do you do it? Three kids? Holy crap. Three. God bless you with three. I give you. I could never imagine doing something like that. That's. Insane. I could never imagine. I got one kid at home, and I'm ready to lose my mind. Oh, yeah, you're telling me, Vince. Joe, is this why you found her? She's the best, huh? Where, where? How the hell did you guys meet each other? Oh, he chased me. No, no, no. She chased me. She, it was love at first sight, Vince. She chased me. I can't, these are the conversations I'm having with people. She chased you. What? How long ago was that? Oh, wow. You grew up here? Oh, that's where you chased. Oh, you went to Woodstock? Woodstock's the, oh, wow. I would train ages with you right now. Michelle, I would give anything to be your age. We'll never get that kind of America back. That was the coolest times ever. I'm never going to, I'm scared for my kids. I'm scared for my kids too. I just told my son that the other day. It's like too freaking easy sometimes. It's one demographic. You guys know what they need. You know what they like. You know what they hate. You know what turns them on. You know what turns them off. Know your audience. And morph it to become the cool teacher. Now, when you get into everything and you're like, this is what we're going to do today. We're going to roll you into your additional stuff. All right, Joe? He's going to be like, sounds good, buddy. Now, at the end... When I'm telling him, there's a gap right here, and this is very important, Joe. We got to make sure we get this taken care of. So what the union sets you up with is this. It's 120 bucks a month. Is that affordable? Great. Let's get you squared away. He's thinking, shit, he's right. Yeah, you're right, Vince. What the hell am I thinking? I don't have any insurance. Get me enrolled, man. You're the man. I trust you. Right. But you get through. You don't do any rapport. You don't win them over. You, you, you don't have them talking back to you. You don't butter them up. You're going to get to the end. You're going to be like, this is what you need. They're going to be like. Michelle missed it. They're going to be like that. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, just being honest, just being honest. It might work with some people who really don't care for personalities, but most people on this planet do. You're going to get to the end. They're not going to hear the needs. They're not going to hear the education. Everything that you say is not going to have the same impact. It's going to sound like a sales pitch. It's not going to sound like a conversation that's coming from the heart. I encourage you guys to please get this down and understand that this is the key to your success here. Does anyone have any questions before we wrap this up? Kill me one day. You're out here smoking a vape. Like a freaking goofball. You think that's cool? You think that's professional? I'm um, sorry, Tommy. Anyone have any questions? You guys may think this is like hoopla, rah rah, like this dude. Like I'm telling you, this can make you a lot of money someday. You'll see me again next Friday to wrap up your training class. And that's all. You're not going to see me after this. I'm not your field trainer. You're not going to have me. I'd like to think I'm like one of the OGs, top couple guys. Geo trained me. Geo was the top producer. I don't think I could outrate Geo, but I can come pretty damn close if I go ham like he does in all hours of the day. I'm a, I trained Ash. Ash is writing 30K a month. She was with me for four weeks. She said it up there. It's not easy. I was not easy to train. I was freaking out. She was freaking out. It was like my wife, my, my, my new wife. Actually, I told you not to do it like that. I'm trying, Vince. Why can't you please just give me some back? I'm, I'm just saying, Ash, we got it. Ah! So, I encourage you guys, if you have questions, ask them. Does anyone have any questions? Third day in, we don't have questions yet? All right. Hope this helped you guys today. If it did, please drop some fire in the group. Say, thanks, Spence. Great group. That way Tommy knows I'm doing my job. Care about you guys. I'll drop my number in this thing right here. I'm an MGA now, so I got more time than ever, but also at the same time, I got no time. So shoot me a text. I'll always get back to you. There it is up there.
at the Obama mic drop this thing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Obama out. <no. laughs> See you guys. Love you. Good luck. Let's be great. You're welcome. Who? Drew? Yeah, just be like, hey man, we're done. He should know it's it's usually over at three. But hey man, Vince said that uh Vince said you're soft. <laughs> Tell him that, see what he says. <laughs> <laughs>